Hey everybody, James Jacker here with Tactical Response, and I got the terrorist mouthpiece with me. <laughs> this is a uh, uh, go introduce yourself. I'm Dana McClendon. I am the consulary to the Camden Mafia <laughs> and the terrorist mouthpiece. <laughs> but uh, what are we going to talk about? What are you going to talk about today? Today's lesson is it's a little off the beaten path of tactical response, but it's still something that you can use every day. This is the hot crazy matrix. It's what you need to know about how to deal with women and, and, and how to analyze the situation that you may be in or want to be in. Okay, uh, let's take a look at that right now. Okay, so this is the universal hot crazy matrix. It's everything a young man needs to know about women. Um, I've developed this on my own over 46 years of living on the earth. So this is how it works. You have your crazy axis and your hot axis. Hot is, as usual, measured from 0 to 10. We're all familiar with that. Crazy is measured from 4 to 10 because, of course, there's no such thing as a woman who's not at least a 4 crazy. So you got 4 to 10. This is your hot crazy line right here. Very important that you keep in mind where the hot crazy line is. As a rule, this is your no-go zone. We do not hang around and date and marry women who are not, at least in our mind, a five. Um, so this is your no-go zone. You don't go here. We just rule this out. Life is better this way. That's the way it is. All right. Um, above a five and to about an eight and below the crazy line, this is your fun zone. You can hang out here and, and, and uh, meet these girls and spend time with them. That's your fun zone, but keep in mind when you're in the fun zone, you want to move out of the fun zone to a more permanent location. Okay? Um, so that's the fun zone above a five, hot, below an eight, hot, and below the crazy line. This means these are most of the time not crazy. Okay? Above the danger zone, above the, uh, above the crazy line, we have the danger zone. This is your redheads, your strippers, anyone named Tiffany. Um, hairdressers. This is hairdressers. This is, where, this is where your car gets keyed, you get a bunny in the pot, uh, your tires get slashed, and you wind up in jail. Um, now, now that we have some of the chart filled in, we've got a couple more pieces to put in, but at this point, understand something. This is not a static environment. This is a situation where you have got to uh, use this matrix over time to develop some reliable data. It's like a dope chart, okay? You ought, because at any moment in time, any woman that you have previously located on this chart can vanish from that location and appear anywhere else on the chart. So what you have to do is over time collect some data and once you have a cluster of data points, you can begin to consider that reliable. Now, moving on, you have this zone here. This is below the crazy line, above an eight hot, but still, you know, about a seven crazy. This is your date zone. You can stay in the date zone indefinitely. These are women that you introduce to your friends and your family. Um, they're, they're good looking and they're reasonably not crazy most of the time. Okay? So this is, you can stay here indefinitely. Now, above an 8 hot and between about a 7 and a 5 crazy, this is your wife zone. Okay? When you meet this girl, you should consider a long term relationship. Uh, this zone is not scaled to size. This, this, is a, this is a representation and not an actual, if this is not a pie chart showing you how many of these people are out there. This is simply a, a representation of what you're after. You want to be five to seven crazy above an eight hot. That's your wife's zone, okay? Now, below a five crazy and above an eight hot, this is your unicorn zone. These things don't exist. If you find a unicorn, please capture it safely, keep it alive. We'd like to study it and maybe look at how to replicate that, okay? 
So I was explaining this to a guy one time, and he said, wait a minute. I met this girl, and she's like smoking hot. She's like at least a nine, and she's chill. She's co totally cool. She's like not even a three crazy. I said, you're telling me you've met a girl, she's a nine hot, and she's like a two or a three crazy. He said, yeah, man, I like her a lot. I said, you should be careful. That's a dude. You're talking to a tranny. <laughs> so you got your, you got to be careful because down here below a four crazy and above an eight hot, you're probably talking to a dude. <laughs> that is the universal hot crazy matrix. All right, Dana, that was pretty good. Now, let me ask you, like, for the, for the women watching, is, th is there a male version of that? I mean, would, oh, yeah. it, would it also be... Oh, uh, yeah, it's a little it, simpler. If a dude is super hot, okay. Yeah, it's a little simpler, but we can do it real quick. It doesn't take very long at all. For women, this is your, this is your matrix. You got your cute axis, and you got your money axis, okay? <laughs> and uh, if you have... There's only three sections. Women have a very large no-go zone. <laughs> this is for dudes who are neither hot nor have a lot of money. Um, you'll notice over here, this is the husband section. Uh, once you cross a line and have sufficient amounts of money, it is no longer relevant how hot you are. And then women have a fun zone here where a dude is broke but hot. <laughs> that, that, is the, that is the cute versus rich matrix uh, for women's use. There you go. Uh, <laughs> remember, your responsibility to be ready to date hot bitches never ends. Here endeth the lesson. <laughs>